All right, hold on a second. Don't click dislike yet. Just listen, <laughs> I will explain. Okay, so um, a couple weeks ago, and it's a couple weeks because I haven't really been online, there's just been so much going on here. I've been so freaking busy. I haven't really been online. God, I don't even remember when the last time was I actually made a video. It feels, actually feels kind of weird sitting here making a video because it's been so long since I've, like, made a video. Um, and uh, I know I, I upload all the time, but, you know, they're always out of order. Um, you can tell now I need hair color. So this is a recent one. I'm probably going to slide this one up in the queue so that it's uploaded next, I would say, um, just because I I kind of want like a recent video uploaded and I actually -ish have something to say this time. Uh, anyway, a couple weeks ago, I posted a stupid little photo on um, on Facebook and it said, post a picture that reminds you of me or post a picture that describes me or something like that. And somebody posted a picture of Black Friday. And I wasn't online to see the comments that followed, but when I went online, there was like a whole comment thread and all kinds of messages in my inbox and shit. And um, my ex popped up and said, don't compare her to somebody else. You know, this girl, uh, I don't know who she is. Uh, there's only one, one raven and it's rude and fucked up to compare her to somebody else or something like that as he you know often says stuff like that and then a couple other people who i guess don't know who she is commented um oh this girl's just copying you she's jealous of you you look so much better than she does blah 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 and the girl who posted it was like i'm so sorry i didn't mean to offend you or anything it was just that I think she's badass and I think you're badass so to me you remind me of her in a way or she reminds me of you or you know something along the lines that she's like it wasn't supposed to be a an insult and I saw that I didn't see it as an insult at all but on the comments there were quite a few comments and there were so many messages people who don't know who she is that were writing asking if there was trouble and don't feel bad because there's some girl who's trying to steal my identity and look like me and take it as a compliment and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I know these people mean well, but I look nothing like Black Friday. Um, I knew, I knew her, who she was, spoken to her once or twice before she became like super huge like she is now. I mean, the only thing we really have in common is that we, you know, have lived in New Zealand um, and that's about it. Uh, she was friends with some of my friends um, in a totally different island, never met her face to face. I wrote her, told her I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. She had that old school classic goth look I always admired but could not pull off myself. Um, we both got piercings, she's got a couple of tattoos, and we both wear makeup. And that's about it. She is not trying to look like me. I'm not trying to look like her. She is not copying me. Uh, there is nothing there that is similar in any way for somebody to say something like that. And I just want to kind of put it out there that you guys might think that you're complimenting somebody by saying oh, that person is trying to look like you, that person's copying you, they're just jealous of you. But it's not really a compliment. It's kind of fucked up to, I guess, bring somebody else down and take away their individuality by saying that they're copying you. I personally am nobody to be copied. I, I don't have any skills whatsoever. I don't really have anything special about me that is worth copying. And uh, maybe once upon a time... When I first got started, I was somebody, I was something different, but 10 years on, I'm really nothing. I've kind of faded away into obscurity and, uh, you know, it is what it is, but just because they're two gothy people doesn't mean one is copying the other. Um, 
all gothy styles are semi-similar in certain aspects. That doesn't necessarily mean that one person's taken anything from another person. And um, it kind of diminishes uh, one of the two by saying that, you know, oh, you're, you're basically not your own person. I think you're stealing from this other person and copying from them because you're jealous of them. And it's, uh, it's always been a really lame, I guess, pick me up that people have, have done. Um, I know I'm not really making a lot of sense. Sorry. Uh, like whenever I've gotten bullied or people have talked shit about me or whatever, um, people have always come back to me and said, oh, it's just because they're jealous of you. And I'm like, I really don't see it. I've never understood or agreed with the whole people hate on you because they're jealous of you mindset. I think people hate on people just because they're idiots and they want drama in their lives. They want something to hate. That's for sure why people hate on me. Um, because I know that I've gone above and beyond trying to fix my life, but they always pick. They pick and pick and pick. Like, they try to pick on what I eat. Um, oh, I don't deserve to lose weight because I still have fast food. Like, yeah, I have fast food and I post about fast food because of the expenses and the drama. But that's not all my menu. Like, by far, that is not the only thing I eat. I love liver. I quite often eat liver and broccoli and pork belly and mashed potatoes and steak and pork loins and lamb chops, things like that, which are healthy, you know, when we can afford it. Um, quite often we'll get vouchers, and so I go and I eat fast food with the vouchers. I mean, that's free food. Why am I going get, to get rid of it? And sometimes when you've only got like $10 to your name and you can get, I don't know, two cheeseburgers or like bread, what are you going to choose, you know? Um, so it's bullshit that I strain and strive to make improvements and changes in my life and all I do is just kind of move along and find something else to pick on. Um, so it's not worth worrying about, but I don't think it's jealousy. I think it's just small minds being bored. I don't like when people say, oh, they're just jealous, they're just jealous because that that's, that's just not the way it works. And, um... I don't like people saying that Black Friday is copying me. She is big. She's huge, you know. And I don't mean her weight or anything. I mean her following. She's got lots of followers. She's so well known. She's, you know, she's made it. She's what I should have been in a way if I had anything worth vlogging about or whatnot. Um, you just get your your little group of followers and you just get that one viral thing and then everybody kind of comes after you and some people get lucky some people don't i'm not that lucky but you know again it is what it is i'm not going to waste time crying over it i make videos for myself i make videos for whoever's out there i'm not copying anybody and as far as i know nobody out there's copying me certainly not somebody as big and well known as her we are not the same kind of goth we don't have anywhere near the same kind of style or the same makeup or the same piercings or anything like that. And so um, there's really not much point to this video except to say, you know, people that rely on that to, I guess, compliment their friends. I don't know. Maybe it's something you should think twice about. It's not really a great, great way to compliment somebody by bringing somebody else down. And I certainly don't see it as a compliment. I don't like it. And I never agreed with that. I I appreciated the original post and her thought um, that she really liked her and she really liked me and she thought we were both badass women. That was quite cool. Um, I could see, don't compare her to somebody else because I've never really liked being compared to other people. I mean, you try so hard to be an individual and then, you know, it gets taken away if you get compared, but you've got to kind of see the compliment where there is a compliment instead of trying to see an insult where there is none or none intended. So there's that as well. Um, but definitely stop trying to say that, you know, people are copying other people or people are just jealous because um, it's kind of a lame, it's just as lame of a pick me up as it is, as it could be an insult, I guess, if that makes any sense. And so um, I bet 
a lot of her followers would see the title of this and be like, what? This bitch doesn't look anything like Black Friday. What the fuck is she talking about? And they're going to totally dislike this video because they won't be bothered to actually listen. And that, that'll be really funny. Really, really funny. But um, no, I, I admire uh, Freya's style. I love the way she looks. I absolutely love her hair. Oh, I do tease up my hair sometimes because it gets really flat now that I've cut it off. Um, she's not the only one with a style like that, and my style is nowhere near hers. My hair is just limp and fucked, so I, I tease it up to give it some body because that's originally the way my hair was cut until this this bit finishes growing in. It's, it's getting kind of long now, but um, it's still got a ways to go. But, um, yeah, uh, I love the way she has her hair. She's got lots of hair. I do not have lots of hair. I love the way she does her makeup. I could not pull off eyes like that. I just don't have the eyes like that. Love her eye color, her natural eye color, to which I've got poo brown eyes. Um, she's got boobs out to here, which, oh man, I would love to have big tits again. Just not with the weight to go with it. As it is, I've got like nothing. I lay down and I don't even have cleavage anymore. It's just completely flat. Um, so, you know, there are things I admire about her. And she's always cheerful and just never really has anything negative to say. She seems to be able to laugh off insults like not in a snarky, I'm better than you way. But like a just genuinely, wow, you know, you got to really, you're really sad if this is the way you spend your time. And like. Her whole demeanor is pretty admirable. Um, so I don't have a problem with her. I do like her. Um, but her style is definitely not for me. I couldn't personally ever pull that off. And um, yeah, no way is she copying me. No way. That was such a fucking laugh. Like, I actually had to get offline when I read that and go laugh to myself and tell my husband because it was just so absolutely ridiculous that she would be jealous of me in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, anyway, so that's about it. I hope you guys have been well. I know it's been a really long time. Um, redecorated the house a bit. Lots of changes. Um, heaps of stuff that I cannot talk about. Uh, just because private stuff is private. Um, I got... Uh, in addition to my chest, and then it goes down there and there. I'm going to add some more stuff here. I got this redone. I'm going to get my throat redone because it's supposed to be up to here. And uh, I got Logan's portrait touched up so it looks a lot more like him. I, you know, changed the color of my hair because everybody and their grandma has blue hair now. So I kind of wanted something different. The green's not really staying as well. This is already my second round, and I've only had it for a week. Um, I've already had to re-dye the whole thing, because it's just... Uh, I just just re-dyed it a couple minutes ago. Just rinsed it off. That's why my hair is looking really scraggly and gross. Um, we're down to one cat. We just have marmalade. We've rehomed everybody else in preparation for moving and stuff. Just we need to cut the numbers down, because, I mean trying to bring seven cats to the states is not going to work and Mr. Marshmallow would not cope with a flight he'd go absolutely crazy so we've just got marmalade and um the house is pretty empty it's actually really fucking clean um very very happy house is tidy clean been working on my dolls um that's about it um yeah got nothing else to really say uh hopefully I'll have something else to say at some point. It just, we've just been taking a lot of us time and just, I don't know, Logan and I have just been feeling really close lately and so all we've been doing is just kind of like watching movies together and just enjoying our time together and shutting pretty much everything else out. It's just been about us lately, which is why I haven't really been on. And then my laptop broke as well. So there's, there's that because I... I can't really sit because of my tailbone, and so um, that's why I'm leaning right now. Um, and without the laptop, I'm kind of fucked. I've got, like, nothing, so there's that. And, um, yeah. So what have you guys been up to? Anything special? Anything coming up? Anybody got any new tattoos or plans? Because I love talking about body mods and stuff. And, um, I don't know. 
Have you ever used that? Oh, they're just jealous of you trying to like help your friend out. Or has that ever been used like to you? And do you ever believe it? Uh, kind of curious about that because I think it's a lot of bullshit. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just like blabbing now. I'm so fucking tired. But I will see you guys soon. And thanks for watching. And take care. And stuff and stuff and stuff. Bye.